Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate <clears throat> with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. <clears throat> we'll pull some oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. And time is elusive. This could have already happened, maybe happening now, maybe happening in the future. We are all on different timelines. Jumping right in here, Leo. Lots of fire energy. We have the King of Wands as your first card out. Strongest energy for the week. Definitely showing up in your true element. Or you could also be dealing with someone that also has either a lot of fire in their chart. Or is also a fire, sh fire sign. We also have the Page of Wands. So double fire here. Heavy emphasis on Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But I do see some sort of good news coming towards you here. Hangman, Major Arcana. You are going to be hearing something, um, having a conversation with someone that is really going to enlighten you. It's going to create some sort of enlightenment. But whatever this news is, it seems to be good news because the Page of Wands does just usually signify, you know, good news. Exciting things beginning, the beginning of exciting things. And it's going to start by somebody taking some sort of action here. It definitely could be you. We have the Nine of Cups in your past position with this King of Wands. All about wish fulfillment, emotional content, being very happy with where one is in life. We have another major arcana, the Fool card. Yeah, definitely going for it here. The Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this is pertaining to some sort of creative work opportunity, something you love doing that you've always wanted to do. <clears throat> I think some of you are finally getting to the place where you're, you have the time or the energy or the focus to do it. With you being the first card out as this King of Wands, obviously this could definitely be someone else. But I do feel for those of you where this is something uh, work-wise, there's something you've always wanted to do. But it's like now you finally have the opportunity to do it. You're seeing an opportunity and you're going to go for it. There's some, It's something you love doing, something you're very passionate about, something you're very excited to start. You're going to go for it. Some of you... Um, it could be uh, joining some sort of community or group... And for those of you where this is a connection with somebody else, I do see uh, this Queen of Cups here. This could also be you as well. But I'm almost getting as though this King of Wands is really um, getting an opportunity to sort of go for this Queen of Cups. They're going after this Queen of Cups. Somebody wants to make things work. Something, somebody wants to cooperate. They want to be part of a team here at the Three of Pentacles. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Taurus energy could be important to you. Taurus season as well. We're just wrapping up Taurus season. But that's also energy of change with the five. Some sort of commitment here. You either want to commit yourself to somebody or somebody definitely wants to commit themselves with you. They're either seeing you as this queen of cups. Someone who has a lot of love to give. Someone that is very loving. I'm also getting a sense of head over heels with this fool card. Someone that was maybe once very single, being um, very happy being independent, very happy being non, you know, not in a relationship. Because with this Nine of Cups and this King of Wands, that screams like loving, loving the um, not having to worry about anyone else but myself sort of energy. This could be someone that you are either going to meet or have recently met with this Page of Wands in your uh, present position. But I do get there's a, there's a really good impression that is being made on somebody here with this hangman and the queen of cups. Someone's very impressed. I'm hearing a breath of fresh air. So you could meet this person at work or some sort of social gathering here, the three of pentacles. Meeting someone that's really going to change your perspective on commitment and relationship. Definitely getting... You are either a breath of fresh air to somebody or someone that feels like a breath of fresh air to you. Something very different than what, you, than what you've maybe experienced. And we have the Ten of Wands here at the bottom of the deck and the Star card. Heavy emphasis on wish fulfillment here. Aquarius energy. Yeah, it's like things move fast. Look, now we have the Queen of Wands. King and Queen of Wands. Ten of Wands. No longer having to carry the burden by yourself, whether this is you or this is someone else. 
I am getting a sense of wish fulfillment though, either meeting someone that very much matches what it is that you've been looking for. Um, yeah, even if it's a friend, someone that you can really see yourself being good friends with, or, you know, having someone to, to go on the road with or do certain things with, because this ton of wands gives me a sense of, you know, always having to do things, do things by oneself. And, you know, getting used to that, being very happy with that. But now that you've sort of met this person, you really don't want to have to do it anymore. The 10 is also significant of an ending, a, a cycle ending, a wrapping up. It's almost like a wrapping up to the solitude. Because the 9 is a very solid and, a solid and independent number. We have planes going by that could be some sort of symbolism for some of you let's jump into the oracles for you leo i do get this friendship this love connection whatever it is it's definitely going to feel like a breath of fresh air and i don't think you if you are this queen of cups you may have water in your chart maybe in your moon flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others some of you are definitely meeting someone new whether you see that or not happening because i do see this could definitely be you. You're good on your own. You don't see yourself meeting anyone. A little bit of stubbornness here too with this Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups can also be a sense of smugness. But this is like someone that's like, no, I'm good. I don't need nobody. I'm good. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you're good until you meet someone that's worth not being, you know, that creates that sense of unease. So definitely something new here. Some of you are definitely meeting another fire sign because I did see the Queen of Pawns. Someone that also has that fire energy. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There's that Knight of Swords energy. Something's going to move fast. It's like once the initial contact happens, boom. Bat out of hell. Guidance, please. You also could be dealing with someone that doesn't really pursue people that much. But I do feel like they are definitely going to pursue you because the five of uh, wands here tells me that this person knows that you're a hot commodity. You're something that people will desire. And this is an opportunity that they do not want to miss. Four of cups here. And there's the ten of cups. The nine of cups by yourself. Yeah, I'm good all by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blase, blase. And that tenth cup that the divine gives you. That divine connection, that divine relationship, that peace that kind of just fits giving you the ten of cups i'm just saying guidance please for leo some of you this is definitely you that's meeting a sort of queen of cups energy whether you are male or female someone that is very kind very loving but also can match your feistiness this is like the, the you know very cliche but this is like someone that's been a bachelor or a bachelorette for a very long time very happy in that energy very uh you know love is in the air i hold my breath type of vibe not anymore someone's definitely met their match here someone's about to meet their match it's gonna start off quite small and fun and flirty but it's gonna progress quite seriously quite fast It's like finding the shoes you love in your size and it's the last pair. What are you going to do? Leave it? No, you're going to buy it. You're going to scoop that up real quick. <laughs> and figure out how to make up for the money later. Because you might not get it again. Look how they're looking at each other. One card, please. Nothing for Leo from this deck. Nothing for Leo. Okay, we have Ask for Help from Others and Peaceful Resolution. Some of you, this could be through friends that you're meeting this person or through some sort of um, event with that three of pentacles. Ask for help from others. Some of you, this is a friend's friend that kind of, you know, thinks you're cute. They're going to ask for the, the, the introduction. Guidance, please. For Leo. They're going to ask to be introduced. please thank you it's not the right time no it's funny because i saw no at the bottom of that other deck too interesting 
I'm not really getting that vibe here. I'm not seeing anything about it not being the right time. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. More fire energy. So this is saying to me that this is what this is the state of mind that someone is currently in before they meet whoever this is. No, you know, I'll find love one day, not now. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on loving myself and all this stuff until boom. The the connection is made. A fiery climax approaches. It's really gonna hit you out of nowhere, is the vibe I'm getting. Really unexpected connection. You really might think this is not even for you until it happens. Like, damn. Please, for Leo. Could be full moon timing wise too. Full moon could be the timing. We have rewriting the subconscious. The more I embrace a feeling good, the less I will, the less often I will feel bad. So this is definitely like going with the flow. This is definitely someone that was stubborn against being in connection. Being in connection is beyond them. They don't need it. They don't want it. All this type of, you know, talk. Until they meet someone that's actually, you know, worth investing in. Until they meet someone that's very much on their level. Until they meet someone that's very much, you know, all that changes, right? Rewriting the subconscious. It all changes. In the blink of an eye, it all changes. This could definitely be someone that's, that uh, their friends would say, oh, no, that person, they're never going to get married. Little surprise. Little surprise, the person that you think will never get married or that one friend that you think is never going to get married. That Some of you, this is a friend that was like retired bachelor. I don't think so. It might not be for long. There's always enough koi for spirit, Pisces, Cancer energy. Sense of abundance. Something could be also multiplying. Very abundant connection. Okay, that is your reading, Leo. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.